Hello you all, welcome back to today's video. And as you see on your screen, I'm by the title today, where or our, our, um, well, today's video is taking over in all the elections since 2016 all the way up to 2024 with what would be a prediction of what um, the demographics in U.S. presidential elections would be in the future because again, demographics change, popularity changes, less states would have population, which would make um, certain states um, switch parties in which way they vote. As we see that in, our, in the Rust Belt, clearly, and in the South. Because as you see, we have more African Americans and Latino voters moving there. So, uh, by the end of this video, you'll see some states that stay low to the party, and some states that completely change that you might have probably not expected. But first off, in the first election, um, that we could predict is 2020. Um, most people do predict or expect uh, Joe Biden to run and have the Rust Belt or some of the Rust Belt states flip. As you see on the bottom right um, uh, part of your screen, you do see the past election in 2016 and you can see what states change. But in this scenario, again, the Democrat would win uh, because they would flip back the Rust Belt. But um, that was our first election. But if you take a look in the 2024 election, this could be a big flip. Um, good for the Republicans. Because in my opinion, I don't. I believe that due to the loss of population in the Rust Belt, and due to more uh, Republicans moving into the Rust Belt from the South, um, it will trend more Republican and potentially flip all, including Minnesota, uh, flipping to the Republicans. But you see Arizona flipping to the Democrats along with Florida due to there being an influx in Latino voters in minority voters. So with that, that'll help the Democrats again. Comparing to the 2020 election, all of the Rust Belt flips, Arizona and Florida. Now in the 2028 election, you see again more states flip. In the Northeast, you see New Hampshire and Maine due to the white vote uh, being increased in those two states. Uh, but in this scenario, the Republican would carry the state of Maine with the Democrat carrying the one congressional district. Um, you do see Georgia uh, changing from Republican to Democrat due to the influx in African American voters in that state. Again, most states as of now are staying, but in the next election you'll see a huge um, shift. Again, comparing to 2024, Georgia flips along with New Hampshire and Maine. Now in 2032, you start to see many Democratic states uh, flip, but with the start um, with Democratic flips, you do see um, a, a big prize in Texas uh, flipping to the Democrats on the Republican side. You see Oregon. Uh, I believe it'll flip due to the influx in more white voters, more uh, senior voters. And in New England, again, Maryland is trending Republican very easily. They have a current Republican governor who's the second most highly approved uh, governor. Um, along with Connecticut, you have another big um, white population and lowering minority population in that state and so again compared to 2028 you see Nevada flips again I believe there, there will be less Latino voters in this election specifically um, you see Oregon flip uh, what else Connecticut uh, Maryland and yeah so and along with Texas so on with the next election as you take a look the state of Washington flips, and more states in the Rust Belt, in not the Rust Belt, in New England. Uh, again, you still see um, around in the Sun Belt, you see more influx in Latino voters, making these states essentially solidly democratic. Um, though you do see in New England more states flipping to Republicans due to more independents and white voters moving into those areas, especially in Connecticut and. Uh, Rhode Island, but just for this election, I did not put Massachusetts going red because that is one of the most one of the most reliably Democratic states. Uh, you do see Delaware also flipping, um, but this is the final election we're covering. But in 2024 or 2040, excuse me, uh, you see a huge um, shift in many states. You essentially see all of the Sun Belt in the South, and you see the return of the Democratic Great South. Due to the influx and the huge growth in African American population, and you also do see the um, most of the white vote um, or a good portion of the white vote flipping to the Democrats or signing with the Democrats. 
Again, you see most notably Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, Mass, um, Missouri, uh, Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Tennessee, South Carolina, flipping to the Democrats. Uh, with all of New England now solidly Republican. Again, this, in my opinion, wouldn't happen drastically in one election, but over a period of time. But this is what I believe around um, around the time, or around this election, it would be um, with this race being very close. You do see that one congressional district in Nebraska flipping for the Republic or Democrats, excuse me, due to the African American population in Omaha, which is that one congressional district. Um, but yeah, uh, I believe this would actually be a tie, 269 to 269, or a 240 or 270 for ISI, especially seeing that. Uh, the the Green South, uh, the Democratic uh, stronghold that used to be, has returned. I add the Rust Belt and New England uh, part, uh, Rus um, Republic <coughs> oh God, excuse me, a Republican stronghold coming back. And so, with that being said, this is the final election we're covering, 2040, um, with again seeing a lot of states flipping from 2036. Uh, but yeah, so if you would like me to continue on, leave a comment down in the comment section. And if you did enjoy this video, I hope you did consider subscribing and sharing this channel. Go check out some of my past videos. And yeah, hope you did enjoy this video. Uh, turn on that bell notification button as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Adios.